Hello friends, we are the Diversity Travelers. Recently we visited Uirabi Open Ren Zoo, a fascinating place to meet many wild animals roaming around freely on a replicated African savanna in Australia. Uirabi Open Ren Zoo, commonly known as Uirabi Zoo, is a popular wildlife park located in Weirabi near Melbourne in Australia. It is situated approximately 32 km southwest of Melbourne and covers an area of about 225 hectares. The zoo is designed to replicate the African savanna, providing visitors with a unique opportunity to observe and learn about African wildlife up close. You can embark on an open-air safari tour across the grassy plains and witness animals like giraffe, gibras, rhinos, antelopes and various bird species roaming freely. We met over 15 different wild animals including emus, ostriches, kangaroos, koalas, camels, gorillas, giraffe and met with gibras, rhinos, hippos, monkeys and finally lions. The zoo features an Australian trail which showcases native Australian wildlife. You can explore the wetland, woodlands and the grasslands to observe animals such as kangaroos, emus, koalas and various bird species. Visit to the zoo includes an African safari ride on a decorated trolley bus driving through the vast African savanna created in Outback Australia. There is also a walking African river trail to follow, a beautifully decorated path that will give you a feel of an African jungle. Encounters with these famous animals were truly mesmerizing. We are so glad to share this video with you. This 20 minute video will take you through an experience of an African safari. Look at the emus. The emu is the second largest living bird in the world after the ostrich. It is native to Australia and is an iconic symbol of the country. Emus are large birds standing between 5 to 6 feet tall with males typically being slightly larger than females. Adult emus weigh up to 60 kg. Our emu encounter was just wonderful. They were posing for the camera nicely and then moving on to have a walk in the sun. Truly amazing experience, so up close. Walking through the Australian trails, we met some wallabies, koalas and kangaroos. They were all very sleepy in the afternoon. Kangaroos were sleeping in a group which is a natural behavior. Sleeping in groups provide kangaroos with safety and protection against potential threats. By huddling together, they can keep a watchful eye on their surroundings and detect predators more efficiently. With more individuals in the group, there is a greater chance of detecting danger early and escape from predators. The river walk at Weirabi Open Ren Zoo is a walking trail that takes visitors along the picturesque Weirabi River, offering an opportunity to observe various wildlife, mainly birds in their natural habitat. We had a half an hour walk along this river trail, a beautiful part of the zoo with absolute tranquility.
Next, we went for the African Safari in Australia. We went to the bus station for the Safari tour, which was included in the ticket, and we were very excited. The buses were just beautifully decorated. On board the Safari bus, they were playing an African music to create an atmosphere, and the bus started to move through the savanna very soon. We could see some Australian camels, also known as the feral camel or the wild camel, refers to the population of camels that roam freely in the wild in various regions of Australia. These camels are descendant of the camels introduced in Australia during the 19th century for transportation and exploration purposes. Look at the oryx. The oryx is a type of antelope characterized by its long straight horns and striking appearances. Nearby there were some gibras. Gibras are known for their black and white striped coats. Gibras are most common and widespread found in grassland and savannas of eastern and southern Africa. The safari bus was just amazing. It was really open and we could see the horizon with all these animals roaming around freely. The replication of African savanna in Australian outback is just exceptional. Driving through the winding roads, from a distance we could see some giraffes. Giraffes are the tallest land animals on earth, known for their long necks and distinctive coat patterns. Giraffes are native to the savanna, grassland and open woodland of sub-Saharan Africa. Adult giraffes can reach a height up to 16 to 20 feet. Look at these two giraffes having afternoon lunch from the branch. With the giraffes roaming around, there were lots of gibras and there were southern white rhinos. The southern white rhinoceros is a subspecies of white rhinoceros, which is native to southern Africa. The southern white rhinoceros is primarily found in South African countries, including South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, and Swaziland. They are the largest subspecies of rhinoceros. They can reach length up to 4 to 5 meter and stand about 2 meter tall at the shoulder. Adult individuals can weigh up to 2300 kilograms. Both male and female southern white rhinoceros have two horns. The front horn is typically longer and can grow up to 1.5 meters, while the second smaller horn is usually less prominent. Gibras have a horse-like body shape with long legs and tuft tail. The most striking feature is their black and white striped coat, which is unique to each individual gibra, much like human fingerprint. Have you noticed the gibras and the rhinoceros are always together? Gibras and rhinoceros have a mutually beneficial relationship. Gibras have excellent eyesight and are known for their sharp senses. They can detect potential threats and predators from a distance. 
while rhinoceros, on the other hand, have poor eyesight but possess a strong sense of smell. By staying close to zebras, rhinoceros can benefit from zebras' alertness and ability to detect danger, serving as an early warning system. On the other hand, zebras get benefited by staying closely to the rhinos because rhinos are one of the strongest animals in the wild and staying close to the strongest will naturally protect you from the predators. In the same area, we could see an ostrich. The ostrich is a large, flightless bird native to Africa. It is also the largest living species of bird and possesses unique characteristics. They can grow up to 3 meter tall and weigh up to 160 kg. We could also see some freshly laid ostrich eggs in the wild. Ostrich eggs are quite remarkable and different significantly from any typical bird eggs. Ostrich eggs are the largest eggs laid by any bird species. It was an amazing experience, probably one of the most delightful experiences that we have had over the years while traveling. At the end of this bus safari, there was another trail to cover, the African River Trail. On this African River Trail, we'll encounter hippopotamus or the hippos very closely. And then we'll also encounter the gorillas, the lions and the lionesses before ending the trail and the track with the monkeys. We met three hippos initially sunbathing and then became very playful with the zoo ranger spraying water on them. Keep watching, it will be an amazing sight with massive jaws fully opened. The African River Trail is decorated with African paintings, the colors, the totem poles to give it true feeling like Africa. The roadside vegetations and the bushlands were decorated in such a way that you will always feel like you were in the African jungle, about to encounter a dangerous animal. And this was our time with the gorillas. Gorillas are the largest living primates and share a close genetic relationship with humans. They are fascinating creatures with unique behaviors and characteristics. We met two gorilla brothers. The elder one slept mostly, while the younger one that you are watching now was one of the most active one, making a spectacular show for us. Gorillas are very large and powerful animals. Adult males, known as silverbacks, can stand upright and reach height of around 6 feet when fully erect. They can weigh between 140 to 230 kilograms. Gorillas are primarily herbivorous. Their diet consists mainly leaves, stems, fruits and shoots. They have strong jaws and teeth that help them chew through the vegetation. Look at this guy. He is just having afternoon snacks. Can you see any difference while he is eating and while we are eating as human? I don't see any difference.
the younger brother after finishing his snacks started playing with his leap and the cheek and was thinking what shall i do next while his elder brother was sleeping on his bed doing nothing and the younger brother was thinking let's do something and watch what he is going to do next the gorillas communicate through a combination of vocalization body posture and facial expression and gestures this young gorilla was showing off that he is very powerful and he can do many things On the African trail next we went to see some cheetahs and hippos there was no cheetah that we could notice but our encounter with the hippos was just fascinating Hippos are semi-aquatic animals that spend a significant amount of time in water to keep their bodies cool and moisturized they're well adapted to aquatic life with eyes ears and nostrils positions high on their heads allowing them to see hear and breathe while mostly submerged ranges spraying water on them make them super playful hippos are native to sub-saharan africa where they can be found in rivers lakes swamps and other freshwater habitats Hippos are predominantly nocturnal, spending most of the day in water and venturing out at night to graze on land. They have sensitive skin that can easily be sunburned, so they prefer to stay in water during the hottest part of the day. Hippos, despite their seemingly docile appearances, They are considered one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. They can be territorial, unpredictable and aggressive, especially when they feel threatened or if their young ones are endangered. Next it was our time with the lions. By the way, this was not a real crocodile. It was just a replica. Just beside the Ranger Community Center on the African River Trail, we met two lionesses sleeping and having afternoon delight. Do you know that lions are the second largest big cats after tigers? Adult male known as lions can reach length 2 to 3 meters from head to tail while they can weigh up to 250 kg. Females known as lionesses are slightly smaller, typically weighing between 120 and 180 kg. Lionesses are primarily responsible for hunting within the pride, using coordinated efforts to increase their chances of success. Soon the lionesses woke up as soon as they heard that we are making a video for YouTube. It was an amazing experience watching lionesses looking at us at a distance, of course. Our next encounter was with the Lion King. He was just sitting there quietly almost meditating. He didn't move the half an hour we waited. Looked like he was having a very forgiving mood. Actually we heard that he is a newcomer to this zoo. So he is not acclimatized with this environment and the other animals. So he is taking his time watching, experiencing, learning before calling this place as his home. The 
lions are apex predators and primarily hunt large animals like zebras, wild beast, and antelope. They use a combination of sleet, teamwork, and ambush strategies to bring down their prey. In the wild, lions generally live around 10 to 14 years. However, lions in protected areas or captivity may live longer, with some reaching their late teens or early 20s. We ended our fascinating long day of safari with some varbat monkeys. Varbat monkeys are medium-sized old world monkeys that are native to Africa. Varbat monkeys are adaptable and can be found in variety of habitats including woodlands, savannas, rainforest and coastal areas. We learned that the Wirabi Zoo actively participates in conservation projects both locally and internationally. It collaborates with other organizations to breed endangered species, reintroducing them into the wild, and support habitat restoration initiatives. By visiting the zoo, you contribute to these conservation efforts and help these amazing animals to survive. So friends, this was our immersive experience through the Wirabi Zoo Safari. Visit Wirabi Zoo if you are visiting Melbourne. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Goodbye until the next video.